Hello again, welcome to Painter's Block. I'm your host, Anthony Ryden, and today we will be covering the dark skin tone for the Armored Mega Guardian. And uh, I will be using an airbrush this time just because it'll help us get the job done a little bit easier and it won't ruin my brushes. So we're going to start off with priming our model Chaos Black. And this will just make uh, making highlights and everything else easier later and also making the dark skin tone a little bit easier and making those shadows going into the recesses behind the armor uh, an easier blend for us to deal with. So let's just uh, get started and start going through some of the... Uh, the utensils and the tools we'll be using. Very first thing, safety, we're gonna grab our mask and this is just gonna help our lungs. When we're using an airbrush, there's a lot of particulates, especially from the um, paint molecules. So you wanna keep your lungs safe. Then an acrylic medium to keep the flow of the paint good. Uh, you need it like the consistency of milk. Dryad bark. And then um, Gorthor brown. And then you're gonna grab the Night Quest or flesh. And then an Agrax earth shade. And then you're just gonna go back over and do highlights with the Night Quest or Flesh. And these are gonna be all the tools you need besides the uh, airbrush. I have a very basic airbrush with only like one needle. I'll put a link in the description below. It's a very good basic learning one, but um, I wouldn't suggest it if you're very good at airbrushing. It's not like a crazy tool. Some basics for the airbrush, just something that we can all get behind, especially if you're new like me. I don't really use this besides for uh, layering or basing. Uh, so this is the trigger and how my gravity uh, my gravity paint uh, pen, which it means just the gravity pulls it down into the pen, uh, allows this trigger to uh, be a dual action. So the way I push it down and pull it back will actually allow the paint to release and how much is going to be sprayed out and what pressure. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to grab that dryad bark. I'm going to pour it into my pen and then I'm going to grab that um, the medium and I'm going to put a few drops of that in there. And you can see I'm not too uh, professional with the airbrush, so if you see anything that I'm doing wrong, anything at all, um, here I tried to do the method where you mix the paint inside of the pen, but uh, it doesn't quite go. I have a feeling it's just a little too thick when I poured it in there at first, or maybe from when I cleaned it, it wasn't cleaned properly. But um, so after that, I, I realized it wasn't going quite well, so I'm gonna grab a, a coffee stir stick. I have a video where I grabbed a whole bunch of these from Michaels, and it worked very well. So first thing before we spray the model, we're going to spray a test spray. You want to know what it's going to be like, how it sprays. That way when you start putting on your model, you're not confused or wondering where all that paint came from. You don't get any spider trails. It's just the best way is always double check before airbrushing. So I'm going to start off with the eyes and just inside the, um, the helmet and just work around and get as much of the skin as we can. And we're going to hit all of the spots that we see skin. And this is going to be the darkest layer of paint. So we're just going to be slowly building up into our highlights. Now, just uh, be careful if you're new to paint air, uh, airbrushing. Uh, just always keep your brush up because it is open. It will spill and you can cause a lot of problems by just accidentally spilling that paint on your model. And then um, just always make sure that you keep an eye on before you paint the model, do the test. It's very important to always test because you don't know how it's going to lay down. It's not like when you're working with a normal brush uh, where you can see how much paint is on the brush. You can kind of correct it right away. So if you liked anything like this video at all, please, please leave a like and uh, follow us here on YouTube, Reddit, Instagram, Facebook, and maybe hit that notification bell so you can see what we're up to. We're going to be finishing this paint job in probably the next week or so. So here we go, we're just finishing up the dryad bark and we got a nice even coat everywhere. Kind of just making sure we get into every recess. It really blends in well with the dark chaos black primer that we led with. So right now it's already looking like we've got a lot of the skin covered and it's gonna start piecing together. Now just don't forget to get the underneath parts and like I said, don't flip your paintbrush or upside down or your airbrush brush because you're gonna spill your paint. So just be very careful and mindful about how you're doing this. This is a little bit different, but it's pretty fun. So grab now, the next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna grab the Gorthor Brown. This is gonna be our mid-tone. And this is gonna be um, just, uh, well, we're gonna do this a little bit lighter. So if we covered like 90% of the uh, the skin last, the last layer, we're gonna do more like a 50% to a 75%. It's quite a big layer and gap. It just depends on your preference. I'm, I kinda want him to be a little bit brighter because I'm gonna make a lot of his armor rustier. So I, I aim towards the 75% of it. I'm gonna uh, paint with this, but uh, it's really up to you. Um, grim dark, I would probably go more towards the 50 side because you want it darker. 
So once we got it mixed up, and it's about the consistency of milk with that uh, medium and the paint that we have, and this is just a way, you don't need airbrush paint. You can make your own airbrush paint. It does work. It's a little finicky, so like you see, it's a little watery, so I have to work with it a little bit, add a little bit more or a little bit less. This one, I didn't need more, so I just wanted to just keep spraying, see if it was water or if I needed to add more paint. Ended up being it was just a little bit of water from when I cleaned it, so it started being okay. So just keep spraying it so you get that consistency and you see where, where you're pulling the trigger. Once you get that memorized and how to do that with that paint, then you're ready to work on the mop. Well, I'll let you know what I'm working with. These, this pen has a function for a dial where you can control the, uh, the, the actual pressure, but I just have that all the way up to be as it goes up to 25, and that seems to be where everyone kind of likes where their pressure is. Although if you do know airbrushing better than I do, or just at least anything about it at all, please leave, uh, leave some information down below, leave a comment, and I would love to know, especially if you see anything I'm doing wrong in this. I love new information, love learning. This, I'm not very great at airbrushing, but I love the tool. I just got it, and I usually use it for basic stuff. And this is really helpful for getting in these little, really tight recesses that a brush just can't really do. So, and if you know any channels that are really good at airbrushing, please uh, leave them down below. I'd love to follow them and, and learn more so I can put out some better videos for you guys. But anyways, here I'm just going through and I'm doing that mid-tone, about 75% uh, for me, um, maybe a little say 70%. Now I'm just going around and just getting everything, getting those mid-tones, trying to leave a little bit of the darkness, but I'm really meeting that mid-tone more so than the dark tone. And the needle that comes with it is just the same, it's just one needle, so I didn't change the needle out at all. So the next step we're going to be working on is the Night Quester Flesh, and this is more of the highlight. So, once again, we're going to grab the paint, we're going to grab our medium, and we're going to mix it together. I took out that step, don't want to bore you guys. There we go, we're ready. It's like milk, and we're going to test it. I always test it. This one's going pretty well, but um, it does kind of have a trouble shooting every now and then, so I have a feeling I'm going to have to do a deep clean pretty soon. But anyways, it seems about ready for what we're going to be doing, which is just applying these highlights before we do all of the Agrax Earthshade and then another double tap on the highlight. So we're just going to start working on this, and I'm going to go a little bit slower on this. I really don't want to get rid of all of the nice little shadows we have going on here. I just want to tap the top parts of these recesses. Or not the recesses, the, 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 the raised portions, not the recesses. Don't get the recesses. <laughs> Well, anyways, we're going to be working through and grabbing whatever I think is going to be catching light. And that's, that's the best way. A lot of people use apps. You can use an app. I'm old school, so I went to college, had to look at everything and draw it out or map it in my head. So I just look at it and try to do it from memory. And when you're going to be working and you want to do a lot of stuff um, right away or really quick, it won't be as good as if you plan it out with an app and you do all the Photoshop and get all that lighting. But I, I guarantee it'll be a lot faster if you can figure it out with all, without all of that. Um, so just letting you know, you don't have to do all that Photoshop stuff like some of those professional guys do. You can just look at stuff, you can imagine it, it doesn't have to be perfect, and it's going to look really good either way. Now there we have it, we got our highlights pretty much all done on all the different sides. I'm uh, just going to double check, tap around, and you know, this is the part where you can slow down, just really check to see where your skin tones are going to be. And there we go, he's looking pretty good already. Now we're just going to be adding some of this Agrax Earth Wash, um, or Earthshade. It's a wash by Citadel, and um, it's just going to kind of blend all of our colors together, and it is going to bring down all of our highlights, which is why we're going to double tap our highlights with the Quester Knight. That may seem a little bit redundant, or like a step that you don't need. It ha adds a little oomph to the paint job, I think, but you can skip it if you want just blends some of those me uh, the, the mid-tone to higher uh, lighter tones so you don't have to work on that so much while glazing or anything instead you just tap it afterwards but it's it's preference but anyways I'm just gonna grab this is my number three brush and I'm just grabbing this and putting this everywhere all of this agrax air shade wherever I had skin I'm putting it because I'm blending every color I have together and I'm not, I'm, if I'm leaving anything darker, I'm trying to start where there's already recesses. As you saw with the arm, I started right where the, uh, where the inside of the elbow was, just to uh, try to mimic that that would be the darker spot. But realistically, it's still outside and it's still get, catching light, so I'm not too worried about it being on there. Like I said, this, this step is really blending all of the colors together. It's not acting as much as your shadows as it is just a blending tool. 
So there you go. We're just going to be going around and hitting all these little areas. Don't forget his legs. He doesn't skip leg day, so neither do we. Just wanted to take a moment of your time just to let you know that I do have everything that you may need for all your projects and all your uh, your crafting tools down below and um, it just really helps support the channel and support me uh, bring you more content better content and uh, and leave any comments down below as to what you'd like to see on the channel in the future or if you are annoyed by anything I do um, please let me know in the comments below. I'd love to fix things, make things more interesting for you. I, I just want to make a better experience for everyone to be able to break that painter's block. So when we all go to the Las Vegas Open next year, which by the way, I am going to guys. I'm going to be in the AOS doubles that Sunday on the 29th of January. So if you want, you can come meet me. Or at least just come and face me. Maybe beat me at some AOS. I would love that. I want to come meet you guys. So, alright, on to the next step. Sorry. We're going to grab that Night Quester Flesh. We're going to do the same thing. We got that mix for the highlight still and uh, with the medium, so it's still like milk. And, oh, hey, wow, and it worked this time. I actually ended up mixing it inside of the brush. Amazing. Still going to test it, but um, wow, it actually worked. I wonder what happened. Maybe it was just a little clogged. It must have got something out. But here we go. We're just going to start tapping and making some highlights. And you can see it's already showing up on that blended, the blended skin that we just made with that Agrax Earth shade. Ooh, that's looking real nice. There we go. Just make sure to get the fingers, the toes, heads, knees, toes. Yeah, just gonna get all these areas and uh, make sure everything's nice and highlighted. Get the knuckles. And um, what I'm gonna do after we're we're done painting the whole model is I'm probably actually gonna go back over his skin with a brush and actually do some like some on site highlights with a little brush work. I tend to think mixing airbrush with brush is always best. Just like in cinematography or in movies, like I think the best movies are still like the Jurassic Park movies where they mix like robotics with 3D animation. It looks the most realistic. I don't like it when they just do one or the other. It doesn't look as realistic to me. But anyway, or I'm just old. It could just be that. Anyways, here we go. It's looking pretty good and we got the skin all done. We just gotta touch up the little back of the legs, but that is it for our dark tone skin and I hope you like it we're gonna be moving on into the ropes and the armors into the next video uh, I hope you uh, enjoy it and it'll be in two days so don't worry it'll be coming up quick uh, thank you so much for supporting us guys I'm gonna be posting every other day from now on uh, especially for the 200 subs and just uh, the Christmas spirit is really in me this year I love you guys I'm uh, really happy and I'm excited to be going to the AOS doubles, like I said earlier, uh, next year at the Las Vegas Open. So uh, please come join us and uh, have some fun. And uh, maybe bring your armored Mega Gargan if you got one going. I heard a couple guys down in the comments, they got some, and I really want to see them. Thank you, and I hope we broke your painter's block.